Hey, what's up guys? Got this radiation game on Domination, and if you remember the last time I posted a game on this map, it was me and Wheezy making some dramatic comeback and winning the game pretty much by ourselves. This is kind of a juxtaposed video where uh, the exact opposite happens. We're going, we're, epic fail talk again. We're going up against the team who uh, apparently doesn't know this is Domination, and I think at the end of the video they have 10 points. Yeah. So, um, pretty much, I'm calling it right now. The fact that we won this game wasn't that impressive. All the kills I get in this game aren't that impressive because I'm sorry if you can only get 10 points in a domination game, you cannot be considered good. Uh, even if it's because you're just going for kills, it doesn't matter. I don't care what your reasoning is. If you only get 10 points, you are not good. Uh, yeah. So, now that we got that out of the way, um, let's talk about other things. As you can clearly see, I am rocking the... Famas with a reflex sight and suppressor. I've got the blue crosshair with dot reticle on a blue lens, which brings me to my first point of customization is awesome. I mean, it's not a very good point because I can't talk about it for too long, but seriously, the, the amount you can customize in this game is really cool. The fact that I can get a blue lens, it's the most senseless thing in the world, and I love it. Just the fact that they let me do that. Uh, it's kind of annoying to have to spend points on, but it's not too expensive, so I'm kind of okay with it. But I can understand why people would be like, why would I buy that if I can save the points up for more important things? Losing but yeah, it's fun. It's cool. Uh, the only thing so far that I really don't see the point of is the clan tag and emblem on the gun. Uh... You can rarely see the emblem on your gun. I can kind of see mine up by this close to me, but you really have to be paying attention to see it. And I've, I can't even see my clan tag. So, I mean, I spent the points and stuff. I've got it equipped, but putting those on there just, I'm not going to do that very much. I think maybe. Maybe, you know, when I have a lot of extra points, I'm like, well, I need to do something with them. I'll put a clan tag or something on. But other than that, I just really, really don't see the point. Uh, you take advantage of some knifing there. And I guess that will bring me to the next point. Is obviously, I am using the FAMAS, so I'm the least creative person in the world. Everyone in their dog uses the FAMAS, and... You know, I want to know people's opinions on other good guns. I, I, I'm always looking for some recommendations. Uh, just like you know, right now, I I love the FAL. I love the Enfield. And, you know, the M16 is good. Pretty much something that's not an assault rifle, I guess. What are good guns that aren't the assault rifle? Uh, LMGs, so far, I haven't really tried them out too much. But from what I can tell, the M60 is the only one that I would like because I think an LMG has to have a very large clip to be effective. Not really effective. I mean, you can do good with other ones. But the LMG's big thing for me is it has to have a big clip. And the M60 seems to be the only one that has that. So pretty much, I guess, what are good submachine guns to use? I know everyone says the AK, and that's an obvious one. But what are some other other ones that are good for people? So... There you go. I guess my long and drawn out question is, what is a good submachine gun? As you saw, I just took out some people taking, trying to take this counter spy plane. Uh, I believe it was Wheezy going for the hardline challenge, so uh, he wanted friends to take his care packages, so I got that from him. I think he was trying to give it to Pip, but I'm a douche, so I stole it. And I guess just random point now to talk about is the... Uh, Dolphin dive, or whatever you kids are calling it nowadays. Just the dive to prone. Uh, it is really fun, don't get me wrong, and there's nothing more rewarding than diving out a window and killing somebody. And it's really fun diving on points, but in practical means, like actual in-game things, I have mixed feelings about it. I can definitely see the point of diving to cover, but I just, so many times, either I expect to use it, and all of a sudden I just lay down, or... I want to lay down and all of a sudden I'll just dive and I've died a couple times because of things like that and that's really annoying so again it's really it's 
fun to use, but I, c I could definitely live without it. And... Uh, this video is... Odd, that guy was just laying there. Yeah, just pretty much screaming, shoot me in the face. And his teammate got me by shooting me in the back. So I have to run back and I have to kill him. Oddly enough, he's still pretty close to where he was. Not camping. He's moving right there, as you see. He's just really close to where he was. It's weird. Anywho. Uh, most of my kills in this game were me trying to run back and forth in between points. I, I do try to kill this guy by following him and probably knifing him. But Wheezy beats me to it, so... I lose out on the kill because I'm not cool enough. And before anyone tries to recommend it, I'm, old subject I know, but uh, before someone tries to recommend this assault rifle, do not recommend the Galil to me. I'm sorry, I don't see what people are talking about. People have been saying, it's just like the ACR, and I'm like, no. That thing jumps around more than anything for me. Also, that was a huge fail. I completely knifed that guy, and somehow I died because he knifed me. Sure, whatever. But yeah, I, don't, I really don't see how people can say the Galil is this game's ACR. So, yeah. Later.